Today we have a video of how to test and adjust the working voltage on a Polaroid 365 electronic flash with a Polaroid 360 land camera. This flash I have uh, rigged up with a, an external AA battery holder because the internal NICAD batteries were uh, dead. I'm using rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries to reform the capacitor. Uh, it was, it, well, you know, it's aged and uh, hadn't been used in who knows how long. So um, I've slowly been using batteries to pump up the voltage on it and uh, increasing the voltage on the uh, potentometer inside the camera as well to reach the optimal voltage which is about uh, 360, 365 volts. Uh, in this video I'll show you how to measure the voltage and how to adjust the potentometer. Uh, first of all, once you get your uh, flash hooked up you want to turn it on and uh, as you may be able to hear it is charging. To test the voltage, uh, you open this compartment here. I've already opened it uh, for the sake of this video. So you open this volt, this uh, compartment, and remove the paper inside. Being very careful, as because there is a large uh, electrical charge, electrical charge that can be discharged by this capacitor, of course, and. Uh, once you remove the paper, it exposes the circuit board where uh, it controls all the uh, flash functions. When it's charging, you can hear this high-pitched whine. And uh, when it uh, reaches the maximum charge based on the position of the potentometer, it uh, starts pulsating the light and the sound will uh, turn on and off in like a, a beeping, pulsing manner. Let you know it's reached that uh, optimal charge. As of right now, this this particular flash hasn't been conditioned enough to actually reach that charge, but uh, it's slowly working up that way. Uh, to to measure the voltage, uh, we'll, we'll uh, use a multimeter here. And I have this multimeter set uh, at uh, 600 volts DC uh, because the uh, voltage we will measure will be considerably larger than the 200 volts uh, the other option it has. So uh, where we will measure the voltage here is on this red contact there the top and the brown contact there and you do not want to bridge those two contacts together because there will be a great flash and a nice spark and then your camera will die. At least the flash circuitry will die. Ask me how I know. This is uh, my second Polaroid 360. Uh, and the potentometer is inside this hole on the right here. Right there. You can see it, it's angled at about, what, 4.30 or 5 o'clock uh, there. Don't want to, don't want to adjust this, uh, oops, you don't want to adjust this one on the left, you to leave that one alone. Now this is the, this is the one here on the right to adjust the uh, voltage output for the flash. So, put this uh, camera back in the tripod and uh, demonstrate... Here, there, and demonstrate the uh, voltage output. I'm going to be very careful again because you don't want to bridge the contacts. Oh. 
Ooh. And you can see uh, right now, I'm running about 261 volts. Which is plenty enough to discharge the flash, as you can notice here. Uh, but it's not the optimal voltage of uh, about 360 to 365, as uh, described in the user's manual. To adjust the potentometer, I would advise turning off the flash and removing it, which will cause the circuit to dump all the voltage out. And as you can see now, there is zero volted, zero volts if you uh, check the contacts there. To adjust the potentometer, like I, like I mentioned earlier, you want to uh, move this little guy in here with something pointy like so uh, back and forth and it rotates around that little rivet there so based on how uh, more or less voltage you want I believe the instruction manual says counterclockwise to increase the voltage and clockwise to decrease the voltage, but uh, from my experience that is incorrect. Uh, it seems to be to increase the voltage you want to move it clockwise. Could be wrong, but uh, that's what it seems to be doing when uh, I adjust it. That also could uh, due to my Hold the capacitor in the uh, in the flash uh, could uh, be giving me erroneous results, but moving it clockwise does seem to increase the voltage in this case. So again, uh, that's how you do it, and you do want to be careful because the high voltage there both uh, don't want to destroy your camera flash circuitry or uh, don't want the capacitor to discharge into uh, you because that would uh, be like playing with a defibrillator anyway good luck and uh, happy shooting